Hello everyone, my name is Jordy from Cinecam.net and welcome back to Creative Wednesday. And if you've scouted through the effects library and Adobe After Effects, you might have come across a couple effects that don't do anything, like the slider control. I mean, yeah, you get a fancy slider and it can probably keep you busy for a couple of minutes, but after that, it gets bored. Because the slider doesn't do anything. Seems like someone at Adobe made an oopsie. Well, although that thought might be funny, I hate to break it to you, but these effects actually have a very big purpose. You see, although they don't do anything, with a little bit of magic, we can make them do things. And we're gonna do that magic on the brand new Creator Z16 from MSI. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and sending me this beautiful CNC Designs laptop that sits perfectly in line with our slogan, Tech Meets Aesthetics. Well, even though it's a workstation laptop, they managed to bring it all together in a very slim body, which isn't always so easy to find. But what makes this laptop stand out the most to me personally is the display. You're looking here at a golden 16 by 10 ratio, giving you a little bit more space to edit on. It's a true pixel panel in sight with a Quad HD resolution, 100% coverage of the DCI-P3 color profile, and it has a color action accuracy of a Delta E under 2, which in plain English is super good. You do your color grading on this thing. Now, last but not least, the display is also touch screen, which is actually quite enjoyable while editing. Now, I'll talk more about the performance in a moment, but first, let's have a look at those weird dummy effects. And as the group name says, these are expression controls. Now, expressions are little pieces of code to automate certain animations, for instance. What I've got right here is a simple text layer, and we want this text to shake around. So we go into the position property, but instead of manually creating keyframes, I'm going to alt-click on the stop watch. Now, this allows me to write code into the position property. I know. So I'm gonna write wiggle, then open parentheses and choose the speed of the wiggle first. For instance, five times a second, then comma, and now enter the amount that it has to wiggle. For instance, 100 pixels, then close parentheses and click away. Check it out, without a single keyframe, our text is now the best dancer on the stage. All right, so we understand expressions now. We put a piece of code into a property and it automates something. Now, what's up with these dummy effects now? Well, let's take a look at the slider control and add it to the text. And let's say that we want the text to only wiggle when we want it to. Well, I'm gonna go back into the wiggle expression and remove the amount. Now, instead of writing a value in here, I'm going to take the pick whip tool from the expression box and and link it to the slider effects. Now it's automatically going to write some code, which basically says that the speed of the wiggle is the value of the slider. So currently it doesn't wiggle because the slider is zero. But if we increase that, the text will start to dance around. So now we could create a couple of keyframes for the slider control and choose whenever that wiggle has to come in and out. And you thought After Effects wasn't cool. Well, guess what? You're the coolest kid on the block right now. Now I'm only scratching the surface of what's possible with the expressions and these dummy effects. So let me show you a more advanced trick. And um, speaking of advanced, this little bad boy right here rocks the latest 11th generation Intel 8 core CPU, anti-NVIDIA Studio RTX 3060 graphical card. So yeah, 4K editing, no problemo. Now, even on the road, it does a great job with its 90 watt hour battery and super fast 6E Wi-Fi. Now, what I've got right here is a simple animation of a background and a text layer popping up. Now, we could use this as a template. From the Essential Graphics panel, pick the composition in which you have your template in, and then simply drag the properties that you want the end user to change. So that's gonna be the source text from the text layer. But what I also wanna do is add a checkbox, giving the possibility to enable or disable the background. So first things first, let's look for that checkbox control and drag it to either Layer. We can already go ahead and move the checkbox property to the essential graphics window. But at this point, it doesn't do anything. So we're gonna make it do things with expression codes. We're going to alt click on the opacity of the backgrounds layer. And we're gonna say, if we check the box, then the opacity can be 100. And if the checkbox isn't checked, then the opacity is zero. And this way we can show or hide the backgrounds. And here's how to write that very cool code. If, open parentheses, take the pick whip tool and point it to the checkbox. Double equals, which means that we're going to see if the checkbox is checked or not. One, which is checked. 
and then close parentheses. So now what has to happen when it's won or checked? Well, open curly bracket, 100 opacity, and then close curly bracket. It's that simple. Now right after that, we're gonna type else. Open curly bracket, zero, close curly bracket. So if it's not checked or anything else, then it has to be zero. And that's it. Click away and you'll notice now that we can enable or disable the background with a simple checkbox. You see? Those dumb effects aren't so dumb after all. Now we can export the template from the bottom now and then import it into Premiere Pro. From the Essential Graphics panel, we get a simple UI allowing us to change the text and of course, control the backgrounds. By the way guys, I have an entire class about creating such motion graphics templates, covering all the basics and advanced techniques. I'll leave a link to this course right here in the description down below and I hope to see you in my class. And the perfect laptop to take this class is with the Creator Z16. Now all jokes aside guys, this really is an amazing laptop and if you're looking for a new one, definitely make sure to consider the Z16 as well. Now MSI has also sponsored Intel's Inspires Creator Campaign. It's a great opportunity for young creators to show their brilliant talent in shoutcasting, t-shirt design and 2D design or short film. Links can be found in the description down below with all the information. Thank you so much for watching, thank you MSI for the support and as always, stay creative. Hello everyone, my name is Jordi from Cinecam.net and welcome back to Creative Wednesday. Hello everyone, my name is Jordi from Cinecam.